Dope Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. <laughs> so y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, this is kind of funny. You know, I'm going to tell y'all straight up, you know, I didn't try to upload this about a couple of times about this subject matter. Right? Somebody obviously don't want me to do it. And, uh, you know, it's funny to me because the subject matter is funny. Maybe they're supposed to get out there. So I'm going to be real with y'all. I might have an attitude, but I'm going to keep it short. Anyway, let's go up to heavyweights. We're talking Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz. Right? Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz, who I'm going to change his name to the Candyman. Lewis Candyman Ortiz, or one time. Lewis One Time Ortiz. Yeah, we're going to steal the name from Keith Thurman. Right? Ortiz deserves the name right now. Why? Well, you know what it is? If you call real King Kong Ortiz out, or call his name, and you ain't got to call it three times, he going to show up. Right? Joe Joyce just did it. Most people, you probably know Joe Joyce. Big old British guy. Knock people out. Only got seven fights, but you know, he's trained by Abel Sanchez, and people think he's about to do things. Well, he beat a dude, I forget his name, on the weekend. Good, pretty good, decent guy. Beat him. Round two, if I'm not mistaken. And that adrenaline was flowing. And he messed up and said he called out Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz. Called his name once. That's all he had to do. Candyman showed up. Candyman told him, listen, I really don't want to fight you. You know what I'm saying? You only got seven fights. You're probably not ready for this. But you're not supposed to call my name out. Matter of fact, Louis King Kong Ortiz and said, you know, I'm not used to this. This is, you know, uncharted territory for me. No one calls me out. But okay, he did. So be careful what you wish for, young man. Boom. So it's on. Louis Real King Kong Ortiz said, yeah, you can have it. Right? So we know how it is. When you call him one time, he showed up. And I'll give you an example for those who forgot. You remember Dillian White didn't even call him out. Jimmy White just said earlier in the summer, he said, well, he didn't really want to fight me in July. That was enough for Ortiz to say, hold up, dude. Hey, I got an appointment for December the 1st, right? On the undercard of the biggest fight of the year, right? And you always tell people you want to fight Deontay Wilder, right? What did Deontay Wilder tell you? Hey, just beat Ortiz. Beat me and you get him. And you can do it right in front of everybody in the state of Center, right in front of their fight, call Wilder out. Remember that good old words you used when you was way away from him? Let's go! After you beat Lucas Brown, you can do that right in the Staples Center for everybody and it'll be on. And he promised. So, Dylan White said, well, no, I got an appointment for December the 22nd in Britain. I got to take that. Can you come to Britain on that? Shouldn't have said that either. Took your boy Lewis the Real King Kong Ortiz a day to talk to his team. Got right back with him, said, I'll be there on the 22nd. What happened then? Dylan White ain't say nothing else. What he tried to do after that, make sure to get that Derek Chisora fight. And I am telling you, like I told you guys months ago, Derek Chisora probably got close to 50% of that fight with, with Dillian White. Because after Derek Chisora and David Hay found out that Louis DeVille, King Kong, Ortiz offered his service and Dillian White don't want nothing to do with him, no matter what, he wants to fight Chisora, then they went up on their price. From that 30-something percent up to 50. Close to it. Anybody knows the persons between Derek Chisura and Dillian White, holla at me. I'm telling you it's close to 50. Because they knew at that point, you ain't fighting Ortiz, are you? That date has to go down and you want to fight Chisura now. I'm telling you, without even knowing. It's just common sense. You're looking at it. That's what went down. He didn't want to fight Ortiz. Ortiz would have been there. And he would have got more props for beating Ortiz. Just like anyone else in the heavyweight division would get. Right? It doesn't happen. You don't call out Ortiz' name once, right? It's a Candyman 2.0, once. That's why Candyman plus one time. Joe Joyce has done it. Now he's got to deal with the consequences because Lewis the Real King calling Ortiz is going to fight him. Me personally, I think the sanctioned body should force some of these guys to fight him. Any guy that feels froggy about they talking about they want to have a championship fight, uh, the Dillian Weiss, the Jarrell Millers of the world, the Kubat Pulevs of the world, those kind of people, they should have to fight this guy instead of taking, telling the guy from afar uh, that he's a high blood pressure and an old guy, right? Then fight him. If the protection buys are down in cahoots because they're not getting paid from him. Bottom line. That's the only reason because well, everyone knows Louis DeVille, King Kong, is one of the top three or four heavyweights. Deontay Wilder says he's second and a few other people think he's the second best. So now that Tyson Fury had that fight, now he probably dropped him down to third best because Tyson Fury is definitely up there now, 
right? <laughs> it is what it is. But Tyson Fury, if Deontay Wilder and, and um, Anthony Joshua would get down on April, which they ain't, but if they did, then Tyson Fury could take care of this guy, right? Anthony Joshua uh, could do it. He should have done it a long time ago. He was the WBA mandatory for Anthony Joshua. Long story. Y'all know what time it is. And just supposed to been fought, fought him, right? That hasn't happened. No one's uh, trying to make it happen. And Joshua fans won't uh, request it, right? He's told as Joshua that he's scared and he's wrapped in cotton. No one uh, says anything to him. Why? Because he's a candy man. You say something to him about him or call him out once, he will be at your door. He will uh, 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 take on your, your challenge, right? Just like he did to Joe Joyce. So instead of complaining about Lewis the real King Kong Ortiz, like we do with all the Cuban fighters, try to ignore him and sweep him under the rug, why didn't somebody just holler at the old man and beat him up? Don't sports talk. Worldwide. worldwide. And I'm out of here, y'all.